Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a set, well not a full set, but just my left hand with these coloured French nails. That isn't on this one, that's a separate thing. Um, from BT Artbox. So these are the, the ones that I'm using, the X-Coat Tips 3-in-1 Soft Gel System. And they are Soak Off. And this is the ones I'm using. They come in five different colours of French. I'll just show you the ones I've picked out because I have picked them out already. Um, so I could put my Peel Off Base Coat on. Because unfortunately, I was actually going to have a full set of these, like I mentioned in my previous video. Um, but they're not actually long enough for how long my natural nails are at the moment. As you can see, my natural nails are actually not that long because I've just, I've actually like filed them down to be able to use these basically. I think my ring finger is still a little bit too long because um, the nail bed on my ring finger is longer than the others for some reason. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a set of them and then obviously take them straight off which is sad because they are beautiful and i'd love to wear them that was the original plan but what can you do um so yeah here's my nails now i'm just waiting for the peel off base coat to dry um and then we can get going with it so i'm just going to show you the products that i'm going to be using to apply them with you get this tube of solid gel glue um and then you also get a top coat and a gel glue like in a bottle which is much thinner than this one so you put this on the natural nail and this on the tip um i'm not actually going to use this on my natural nails just because obviously they've got a peel off base coat on them but that is what you're supposed to do pop this on your natural nails and then apply the tips on top of that as if it was a base coat but you get all the instructions and everything with the set so you don't need to worry about what to do and stuff um i'm also in this video i'm not going to be using bt art box's lamp just because i don't have a plug to plug it in um near me um and it's just easier for me to use the one that i've got so i am using a different one but this is the one that comes with the BET art box um set it is absolutely amazing it's so helpful you literally just put your nail on pop it under there and you can even turn it on when your finger's in there just by pressing it down while you're holding it or obviously you can just turn it on and keep it it's not on because it's not plugged in obviously like i just said but it's um it's a really really good little lamp i really love the the style of that it's really really easy to use which is a good thing of course um so i'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then we can get on with application so i just want to show you what i'm going to be using ignore the state of my hands i've been sat in here messed about this stuff um but this is the one i'm going to put on my pinky it's a nice cute little pale pink color these are the pastel french ones this is the pastel yellow then we've got pastel purple pastel blue stunning color i love the blue and then it's pastel green as well so i'm just going to put a different one on each nail but obviously you could do a full set of the blue or a full set of like another color so basically you could do a full set of any of them um or you could do two on here one color and then the other three different color like you can mix and match them however you please obviously so you know you get loads of options um with those because there's five different colors and you get every size of each color which is brilliant because there is a lot of sizes um, I think there's 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 different sizes and you get two of each size. And what I really love about these ones actually, and one thing I do not like about some of the brands that I've tried, is the sizes are brilliant with these the sizing between sizes isn't massive which i really like so between this one and this one like it'll be a really small amount and then so on all the way up like none of them really have like a massive jump between each other which is really handy um so i really like that i really hate it when there's like the size five and the size six is like a massive difference so then the five will be too big and then the six will be too small sort of thing like that really bothers me but i'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then i'll be back to apply the nails okay so it's all dry now i did accidentally forget about it at some point and my thumb messed up so i'm waiting for that to dry all over again but i've done my pinky i've made an absolute mess of it i'm not gonna lie um i don't know why i thought it'd be a good idea to film this video in the midst of having my niece near me because she's only nearly two and yeah she really really loves my nail room which isn't really that surprising but you know <laughs> wasn't wasn't the ideal timing for me to do this so i ended up having to sort of abandon it not long after putting it on so it's not the best application for my pinky but it's fine so i'm just gonna push my cuticles back to get any excess gel away from my skin if there is any anyway look how cute that is so easy you don't have to paint a thing which is obviously the win 
So I'm just going to go ahead and place the, uh, oh gosh, I do need to get the air out of this first actually, make my life a lot easier. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some of the gel, I still haven't quite mastered how much gel I need. Um, still working on that, but it's fine, we'll get there. And then I'm just going to place it on my nail. This is the one that doesn't fit, to be fair, so it's not ideal. I'm just going to place it on my nail, press it down. And once I'm happy with where it is, I'm just going to pop that under the lamp. As you can see, it's not quite long enough, but never mind. In fact, I'm just going to put it in my big lamp for 10 seconds just to keep it where it is so I can do the others. And then once that's been in long enough just to keep it still, I will go ahead and do the next one. So as you can see, my nail is longer than that one. But if I tilt my nail at a certain angle, you can't see it, so it's fine. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to go in with the next next nail now. You don't have to pre, like you don't have to etch these nails either, by the way, because they are pre-buffed, which is brilliant, saves more time. So I've just popped some of the gel on the back of this nail as well. I'm not going to lie, I think I've done too much on it, but, you know, it's all a learning curve. So I'm just popping it on at the cuticle area and then pushing down at a 45 degree angle to get the gel to like sort of float down to my free edge. And then once I'm happy with it, I have a flash cure in place under my spotlight lamp. And then pop it under my larger lamp when I'm happy that it's going to stay still, basically. This is just the perfect way to get quick French, because obviously we all know that French isn't the quickest nail art to do. Um, so any way of doing French quickly is a win in my box. <laughs> um, so I'm just curing that for 10 seconds and then I'm going to go in with my index finger. To be honest, obviously this video is not really very good for showing you the application, to be honest, but it's mainly just for you to see just, just how easy it is. And that is being shown, so it's fine. It's got a bit of gel on the top of this one. So I'm going to do the same again, place the nail at the cuticle area, push down so there's pressure on it all the way down and then pop it under my spotlight lamp. And then pop it under my big lamp for 10 seconds and then once I've done that I'm going to do the thumb and then do the same with that and then do the next step. which actually I've just realised, do I even have the bottle for the next step next to me? So this is what we're looking like so far. Super, super quick and easy. Just ignore the ring finger. Um, and then the last but not least is my thumb. I'm not going to lie to you, my peel off base coat isn't actually completely dry. So this is probably going to be a nightmare, but I'm impatient. And I've been at work all day. It is now 7pm. And I, would, I just, to be honest, I want to go home and have my dinner. So I'm just going to get on with it and hope that it works out and comes off. Placing that again at the cuticle, pushing it down to get that to spread all over the nail and then flash your in. And then pop in all of them in the lamp for 60 seconds to make sure they're all completely cured. Then the next step is to put BT Artbox's version of a build gel over the top, which just sort of reinforces them, makes them nice and strong. Um, and you get no flex in these nails whatsoever. They are so, so strong and solid. They are brilliant. Um, so I'm going to pop a coat of that on and then a coat of top coat. And that is literally it. That is how easy these nails are to do. Um, they come in lots of different shapes and patterns and stuff like that. There's um, the cat's eye ones now that I showed in my last haul video from this brand because I have those now as well. They are beautiful. And they've got the pink and white French. They've got nude and white French. They've obviously got the pastel French now. They've got black French. So there's lots and lots to choose from. Um, something for everyone, basically. So, yeah, just waiting for these to cure. And then I will do that reinforcement layer. So this is the duo. Um, it's called the protecting duo. And you get the reinforced gel and the top coat so i'm going to use those now so the reinforced gel goes first i'm just going to gently file the free edge on them all just to get rid of that little lip so they're all nice and neat so i'm just going to quickly dust off them to make sure that 
there's nothing in the way obviously if you need to do any filing now is the time to do it or you can do it at the very end i suppose it doesn't really matter um but then i'm just going to apply this reinforced coat is a nice product to use because it is quite thick but it spreads really nicely and easily so it's not like really difficult to get nice and neat i've just put way too much on so i'm just taking some of that extra product off because there's far too much on my brush when i was applying it and you really don't need to build this layer up like just a nice normal coat of this is plenty I was going to apply that to all of them obviously if i was keeping these nails on i can't do too much to them with having the peel off base underneath because i don't want them to come off too easily um but if i was keeping them on like i'd file them to shape a little bit more and i'd um blend the cuticle area in with my nail just to make sure it's nice and flush but i don't want to do that because of the peel off base coat and I don't really need to anyway, because obviously they are coming straight off, unfortunately, which is very sad. I said this last time when I put those pink and white ones on, because I really do love them. But never mind. I am still tempted, very, very tempted to have a full set of those pink and white ones at some point. And the best time to do it is when I go on holiday. Um, and I'm due to go in just over four weeks. So I'm tempted to have those for that holiday. I haven't decided yet. I'm still questioning whether I want to have them or not or whether I want something different um but obviously whatever I have I will film also I just wanted to give you an update with filming schedule I know it's a bit all over the place at the moment and there's no real um well there isn't a schedule basically at all um that is just for the time being while I don't work where I live basically um because well, it's just the same as today. Like when I've been at work all day, like I don't actually mind filming after a day's work, but it's annoying when I can't like have my dinner and then film or something because it'd mean having to go home, having my dinner and then coming back. And I don't have the motivation to do that. Like once I'm home after work, that's it. I'm home. <laughs> so yeah, I um basically what I'm trying to say is I'm in the process of having a conservatory built at my house um, for me to work from. So I will also be like documenting that process as well and then once that is up and running i will be working from it um and that means that i will also be getting back to more regular videos because it won't be so inconvenient for me to film basically in the nicest way possible um so anyway that's what they look like at the moment with the reinforced coat i'm just going to pop that in the lamp i will top coat off camera just because it looks the exact same as me doing the reinforced coat um and then we'll put a bit of cuticle oil on and see what they look like when they're completely finished but yeah that is my plan for filming i will be back to doing more regular uploads at least two a week um probably starting september time i'm hoping to be working from home but i'm not 100 percent sure yet the weather is not very good at the moment and having work done is never good in this weather so you're just gonna have to be patient i'm afraid i am still trying to upload as and when i can but summer's always just busier anyway we all have more plans and there's much more going on so less time free and stuff but yeah just know that i haven't abandoned my channel although it seems like that um i am going to be around a lot more often when it's more suitable to me basically i'm trying not to burn out so yeah i hope that makes sense but anyway once this is done i'll put the um, top coat on and stuff i'll show you what they look like so here is the finished look they are so so pretty i think they look stunning and how easy was that like honestly it's the easiest process it really couldn't be any better um super super quick and easy and you get french nails without the faff of french which is an absolute win obviously it's not ideal that my nails are longer than these nails but you know it's fine as long as i just tilt my ring finger down a little bit no one will know um, but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was useful um even with these being designed in french of course you can still add your own um what's it called design um before the reinforced layer because then obviously your design will be what's it called um protected by that coat which is going to help the longevity of your design because you don't want to put it on top 
because then it's not going to last. Um, I've got to do the whole fight of getting these off now. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching it and being patient with me and my sporadic uploads. I do get messages quite often asking me if I'm coming back to YouTube and stuff like that. And I am still on YouTube. Like, I'm just very all over the place at the moment. Obviously, my uploads are not on specific days and stuff like that, whereas they used to be daily for a very long time and then it was every other day and then it just sort of went out the window pretty quickly when all the moving happened and stuff but it's just excuses I know but you know it's one of those things so I hope you will be happy to hear that I am going to be back eventually so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video bye